game one of the Isabel Cup playoff semifinal series between the Minnesota Whitecaps and the Boston Pride continues. Please welcome uh, head coach Ron Englehart, tonight's uh, first star with a hat trick, uh, John Albers. We, we have some questions in the room. Uh, we'll take those first before proceeding online. So go ahead when ready. Hey, um, so coming off uh, eight game losing streak in the regular season, what was your preparation like coming in against Boston? I think the biggest thing is just to try to get them to believe that, you know, have that confidence. It's hard when you go eight in a row losing to, to come and play confidently, but we believed in them, and so we needed the players to believe that as well. Um, and just to come to play consistent hockey, full, you know, 60 minutes was our big theme too, that we couldn't take shifts off. We had no time to take shifts off. Um, so those are some of our main focuses. Yeah, I mean, like she said, it was kind of tough coming off of a losing streak, but, you know, playoffs, starting fresh, so we were all really excited this week and we had some good energy, so I think that helped. Do you think, uh, well, do you know, did having love back change your structure and, and how you played against Austin? Or how you planned to play? We didn't make any adjustments having love back there. I don't know if the players felt any different having her back there or not. Um, but I think um, we're happy to have her back. She's a competitor. Um, and just having her in practice, too, it just elevates things, too. Um, but I don't think we changed how we played. Yeah, I mean, we all just feel super confident with her back there. So um, we're just excited to have her back. In the second period, there seemed to be turnovers on both sides. Uh, what's one way you could limit those in the next two games or next game? Um, just, I don't know, just keep playing, playing hard and feel confident with the puck. Um, you know, I think we showed that today that when we are confident with the puck, we can do a lot of things. So just continue that confidence in Saturday's game and check out some of those. Yeah, we've talked a lot about possessing the puck and, and supporting the puck. Um, I think we did had a better second period than we normally have, but um, definitely some, some areas to grow in for sure. What was the change that kind of brought you into this? Like gave you the confidence? Um, I don't know. I mean, they're, like I said, it's hard when we were on, I don't know, eight game lose streak, yeah. whatever it was. So we're all kind of pissed off, but we made playoffs. So like I said, it's a it's a start. We're starting fresh. So we're all excited to just show everyone what we, what we can do um, and compete with the best. Yeah. Just flushing, right? Like she's saying, it was a new season, if you want to yeah, call it yeah. that. But um, they're good enough to compete, yeah. so they just need to show it. So let's talk about the hat trick. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> clearly, uh, major accomplishment. Um, what did it feel like? What led to it? What was that experience like? Oh, it was fun. I mean, it was great to be Boston on hat trick. So. Um, but I mean, everyone was working so hard. We, I, like, I just was able to have so much support from my line mates and the energy on the bench and just all throughout the throughout all of the shifts. It just helped lead to you know those shots on net and those goals. Um, you know, we, our goal was to put bucks on net, and that's just what we were doing. So yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> John is one of our most tenacious players. We play small area games. We could be, she could be losing five nothing, and she still believes she's gonna win. Like she doesn't quit. So um, I think we got to see that today. So that was your first goal tonight. Was one of a few breakaway short-handed goals you've had this season. Can you kind of walk us through how you get get those goals, and especially when you know, short-handed on opposing power play? Um. Yeah, I mean, today everyone was doing really great work um, on the PK and they're being really pricey, so that led to the puck kind of getting turned over by them and then I was just able to grab it and um, I was able to stay patient and keep the puck and take it down with, um, I think it was quick click on the other side um, and I just took that shot and <laughs> Do you do speed skating work or no. is that just natural? Um, I don't know if I'd say it's natural, but I don't do speed skating, though. No. I don't know, I just... She's I'm explosive. not really sure. She's very explosive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of Russian, Russian jumps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My dad probably gives it credit to that. Just see if you have any questions. 
Um, we do. Dan Rice has his hand. Well, uh, oh. yes, Dan's got his hands up. Uh, go ahead, Dan, we're ready. Uh, hi, John, I gotta ask first of all, I was just looking up, is this the first playoff goal that you've had? Is that true? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It, it yeah, said, it's high. I looked, on, <laughs> I looked on, uh, on the, the Elite Prospects, it said you had zero goals and nine assists in the playoffs, which oh. I know you played a lot of one nothing games in the playoffs with the Whitecaps, so that kind of feels like it would be accurate. Um, is that kind of crazy? Do you think about that? Like, obviously not, I guess. Yeah. Sure, no, <laughs> no I, yeah, I don't think about it. Um, it's an interesting stat, I guess, but I guess, uh, yeah, I don't know. Save them for the right time. Yeah, exactly. Um, the the first goal was great. It reminded me of the first goal I ever saw you score when you played here in Jersey, the, the first year of the Whitecaps, shorthanded kind of goal. Um, but I really like the power play goal because you obviously you're not one of the bigger players and you're driving right to the front of the net. Um, can you just kind of walk us through the play and how you saw it unfold? Yeah, I mean, just before that, we were talking about how we wanted to capitalize on this power play because it was huge for us um, and that we wanted to get pucks to the net. So, um, you know, I knew that Sid and um, Nat were going to be shooting. So I was just trying to make myself as big of a threat as I could. And you bat it out as it's coming off the goalie? Did, did it hit the ice first or did you I think get it, it I think it hit the ice first, but I'm not sure. I don't really remember. <laughs> Kind of blackout. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's okay. Um, listening to you answer earlier questions, I know you mentioned like it's a fresh season and you start clean. Um, it's really easy to say that, right? And I'm sure you believed it, but when you get that first goal of the game today, how much does that elevate the, the belief to like, all right, we're in this, like everything is in the past. Somebody scored who hadn't scored all season, right? That's mm -hmm. Those are all kind of good vibe things, right? Yeah, no, it was huge. Um, you know, the bench was exploding. We had energy all day, but just getting that first goal and exactly like what you said, someone who hasn't really scored this year, it was just, it was big. And, you know, I think it made everyone believe that, you know, we really can take it to Boston and win this thing. And to let them come back and tie it and sustain that and not give up the lead, like you guys didn't mm -hmm. trail the whole day. Like that's also gotta be a, a big source of confidence, Jess. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's something we've kind of talked about from the beginning. We'd kind of um, go back on our heels a little bit, hit the panic button. But towards the end of the season, we, we focused on that a lot, is just stay composed, go back up on our toes and attack. Um, so they were ready. Um, so I didn't see any letdown once those two goals went in, which was awesome to see. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Unless there are any further questions in the in the room, I think uh, we wrapped up, and we appreciate your time, and look forward to game two on Saturday. Sounds good. Thank you. 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 Thanks. Thank you.